It is Saturday, September 13th, 2025. Thank you for being with me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Beautiful looking in St. Martin this morning, but as we swing to the south, that's where we have some heavier weather overnight. I've been going back and forth with you in the comments. We've had some rain in uh, Dominica, for example. This is the tropical wave we were talking about yesterday moving in. I want to track that through the Caribbean, some of the rain totals with it. A spot here near the coast of the Carolinas south, back through uh, Florida, Georgia, and the Bahamas for some uh, uh, a low chance of development, but this here has a higher chance of developing coming off the coast of Africa. That is going to be a spot we're going to monitor really over the next week or even two weeks as that is far out there. So here's that first tropical wave. We've got a couple other areas we're watching, but it's this big uh, broad area here uh, near Cabo Verde with that chance of some flooding for some of the uh, islands in through here the next couple days. Be mindful of everyone, but this will be working its way off toward the west. As it does, I do expect some development out of it. Now, much like we have uh, with the last uh, couple systems, as far as will it development uh, develop, will it not? It's it's hard to tell at this point because it is so far out there. There's a lot of dry air as well. But this is what I'm seeing uh, with the uh, models. But know that I'm watching the environment. The models can be so, so far off. And I just like to get the facts uh, on this channel just to give you exactly what's going to happen. But let me show you the modeling first. The American model actually is not showing much development, maybe a tropical storm or a tropical depression, at least briefly, uh, but then fizzling apart. I will show you that. The European model has this developing into a tropical storm, then eventually into a hurricane. And the, hur uh, the European model has this area closer to us in the Caribbean. So I will show you that as well. Both the Canadian and the Icon German model do have this area developing, uh, but trying to kind of hook away uh, from us uh, at least uh, earlier. But a big wait and see on this. And here's one of the reasons why you could see some of this uh, orange shading in through here. This orange shading back through parts of Florida, the Gulf over toward uh, Mississippi, Alabama. That's some dry air, sinking air, little taste of uh, autumn. And then you could see out here in the uh, tropical Atlantic watching still some dry air. So like we were watching with the last big tropical wave, it is going to run into some of this dry air. That would be a good thing to help prevent some of the development. Uh, but it's not quite as dry as it was a week or two ago. So we do need to watch for some development out of that area. But here's that tropical wave ahead of it that's moving in. Guadalupe, Martinique, uh, Dominica, watching out for some showers and storms. Eventually all the way to the south back through our Trinidad, we'll get some heavier rain parts of the northern and central Bahamas. Been watching some of the uh, rain uh, close to Honduras, Belize, uh, Guatemala from overnight and this morning. And this here, this was briefly a named system, uh, Mario, that is weekend, but drawing in some of that rain on the eastern Pacific side, uh, anywhere from the uh, southern coast of Mexico all the way swinging back toward Cabo San Lucas, monitoring that. We'll get into the eastern Pacific in a moment. There is a lot to cover. Now, uh, back to that tropical uh, wave off the coast of Africa, right? That's going to be marching across. Of course, if, if that gets near us in the Caribbean, Bahamas, back through the Gulf, we know those water temperatures are so very warm this time of year. So that is a big concern for the potential of development. But let me just show you a couple scenarios here as we watch this, and then I'll zoom back down to the tropical wave that is in the Caribbean. Here's the European model. Here we are uh, in the Caribbean. This is the area near Cabo Verde we're watching to the north high pressure and control. That's the block right? That's like a fence. It's a barrier that allows this area to move off to the west. So here we are, Barbados, St. Lucia, for example, Puerto Rico, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Martin, uh, uh, St. Bart. So right here in the Caribbean, this here is by Wednesday of this upcoming week. The European model has this area developing, but again, we need to watch out for a lot of that dry air that is out there that may prevent development. But as we get deeper into the upcoming week here, you can see as we go out in time, Thursday into a Friday, it shows a little initial turn and then kind of back toward the uh, Caribbean. And then uh, it has this area developing into a tropical storm or a hurricane. And again, it doesn't uh, watching a front up to the north that may help draw this up to the north. High pressures over here. And I bring this up uh, just because again, I'm watching the steering conditions with this. But as of today, and this is going to change, we know this is going to change. Forecasting the weather is really hard three to four days out, yet six, seven, eight days out. Uh, the European model does have a stronger system, potentially a hurricane closer to the northeastern Caribbean, just to the northeast as we work our way into a week from now. This 
would be by Saturday, not today, Saturday, obviously, uh, but by the uh, following Saturdays. Now, watching the European model, I could break it apart further for you. We have that. That's the big European model. But if you make any variations to it, uh, you get some changes. So this is kind of the behind the scenes look at the European model. Here we are again in the uh, Caribbean going out in time. And this gives us a good feel of the uncertainty with this system as we get down the road. It shows you the kind of spread and chances of where this may go. This could hook uh, more to the east of Bermuda earlier, which would be great for everyone, watching everyone down the road from Bermuda back toward the U.S., or it could get closer to the northeastern Caribbean. But for the most part, the European model, while it has it close, has it just to the northeast. We'll wait and see. We really need to wait and see. I'm not sure what's going to happen with the system, especially not only watching the track or potential track of this, but that dry air that has been eating away at the tropical disturbances, we have seen that right over the last couple of weeks. It's not quite as dry though at this point. So that's why we're going to watch this together closely. Now, here's the American model showing a different scenario. It's not that one is right or wrong. A little, if it reads the environment just a little bit different, it could make a big change as far as the uh, outcome goes. Uh, as we go out in time here, this is by Wednesday, trying to develop into a tropical depression or tropical storm. A tropical depression is right below a tropical storm. Tropical storm is when it gets a name, but you can see it here showing a system like the uh, European, uh, the Icon German model, the Canadian model showing a similar scenario, and then it has it making a curve, an earlier curve, and then on top of that, it has it eventually just weakening or falling apart. That would be a wonderful uh, thing if that happens. So big differences in the models, uh, but that's that's not a, a big deal at this point. Uh, just an area we're gonna watch very carefully. Again, the European model does have it closer as a stronger system. The American model has it uh, uh, staying away and falling apart. The Icon and German model, for what it's worth at this point, does have it curving before the uh, Caribbean. Uh, but let's just wait and see together. I will cover this in depth in the upcoming videos. I got you covered right here. So I appreciate you sharing the information to get the correct uh, word out about this. Now, watching some areas of rain, Nicaragua, South, Costa Rica, Panama, uh, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, Puerto Rico, Jamaica, Cuba, some spotty showers and storms, our tropical wave moving in today. I already mentioned Guadalupe, uh, Martinique, Dominica, uh, St. Lucia, Barbados, some of the uh, showers possible. Tropical wave moves in, not seeing development out of that one. But as we get into the upcoming week, as I mentioned in the last few videos as well, we'll be watching for that buildup of rain anywhere from Jamaica back through Belize just to see if anything wants to develop. This may surge its way back into the Gulf, some of that extra extra rain. So know that I'm watching this area as well as we work our way into the uh, week ahead. And another spot to watch as well is this right here. Look what happens. I'm this is a very low chance of developing, right? Keeping it in perspective, but just keeping an eye on the uh, coast of the Carolinas. Also some of that rain creeping up panhandle of uh, Texas, some heavier rain active back through the uh, Rocky Mountains, even some snow in the higher terrain. But as we work our way forward, watching some of the rain uh, anywhere from Manitoba south through the uh, Dakotas. But look what happens as we get into early in the upcoming week. The moisture pulls back through Bermuda. So watching that rain uh, right here in Bermuda, but it may leave a little leftover spin, little leftover moisture back behind it. So Monday into Tuesday, there could be a little area of low pressure, maybe not tropical in nature, but just kind of watching this spot near the mid-Atlantic as we swing back toward the Carolinas. As we get into the week ahead, it wouldn't be uncommon for something to try to develop along the eastern seaboard because we've had those old fronts that have been hanging by. Now we swing back here, not seeing anything crazy other than the rain. I'm, uh, as far as not seeing anything crazy, I'm not seeing a, a hurricane in the uh, short term, but just monitoring the rain with the uh, remnants of that tropical system going through the week ahead, watching Mexico. Couple areas to watch as we get into the upcoming week, and I'll just monitor if anything kind of hooks back toward Mexico. So if you're watching from Mexico, got you covered as well, uh, monitoring everything in the eastern Pacific. Now, the seas, Gulf and Caribbean, bit of a chop every now and then. Atlantic waters will start to increase, but this spot here uh, near the Outer Banks of uh, North Carolina, swinging back toward Bermuda, uh, the seas are going to be a little bit higher, especially if something does try to spin up here. So just watching that as we work our way into the week ahead. Now, rain totals the next few days, additional rain back through the Bahamas. We're going to see some of those uh, additional totals of uh, 25 to 50 millimeters or an inch or two of some rain. Scattered thunderstorms, but really heavy parts of the Dominican Republic. Haiti, Cuba, scattered storms for us. 
in Jamaica. Hit or miss in the uh, Cayman Islands, but if we get a storm, we're talking about 100 millimeters of rain will be possible in just one of the storms. So thunderstorms packing a punch, no doubt. As the next tropical wave moves in, Puerto Rico all the way south through St. Lucia, we could get some totals over 50 millimeters of rain for some three-day totals, swinging all the way down through St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, Barbados, a little bit more in Trinidad and Tobago. That's where we could have some repeat showers and storms that could give us over 75 uh, millimeters of rain in spots. Suriname, Guyana, not as much. Northern Venezuela, rain chance will be picking up. And of course, some heavy pockets in through here, back through Central America, monitoring the mudslides and the uh, rivers, Guatemala, El Salvador, uh, Honduras, especially western side, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, and Belize. We're going to continue with scattered areas of rain and storms. There's some of the extra moisture uh, western uh, areas of Mexico with some of that tropical moisture feeding in. Some spots could be over 150 millimeters of rain. A lot of rain monitoring those uh, rivers. And then this is where that autumn air is and a little bit drier, uh, no doubt drier, and some uh, cooler weather that has moved into parts of the southern United States. So 40 to 50% chance of scattered showers and storms for us in Jamaica, Cayman Islands. We're looking at a 40% chance. Could get a couple passing showers, a few possible uh, for tonight. And you see in Trinidad and Tobago, we're not looking at widespread rain, but the next few days we could get those pockets of heavier rain at times that could lead to some isolated flooding. Barbados monitoring the tropical wave that is sliding by. It could increase our chance of rain later today and tonight. Same thing in St. Lucia. And meanwhile, in Grenada, we're looking at a 40% chance the next uh, couple of days. St. Vincent, the Grenadines, uh, mainly St. Vincent, northern side, uh, as we work around to tonight as the tropical wave moves in. Increased uh, chance of rain. Martinique, as we swing back through Dominica, that rain chance is going to stay elevated through the rest of today. Some of us getting a break now, but that rain chance is going to be sticking ground. Uh, Guadalupe watching out for the rain and some tonight as well. We could get some heavier rain moving in tonight. We swing back through Antigua, Barbuda, rain chance 40% today, 30% chance tomorrow, and a 30 to 40% chance the next few days. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. Isolated showers possible, but there will be a few around Anguilla and St. Bart's. And you see by tomorrow, St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia will be up to about a 40% chance. As we work our way through Puerto Rico, scattered thunderstorms, as I was mentioning, right through the uh, weekend. U.S. and British Virgin Islands with that tropical wave moving in uh, Sunday into Monday. Rain chance will bump up to about 40%. Bahamas, northern and central Bahamas staying active with a better chance of some rain. Turks and Caicos, 30 to 40% chance the next few days. And again, through the Dominican Republic and back through Haiti, some of the storms will be strong. Very dangerous rivers in some locations. Heads up on that. We swing back through Belize, as I just mentioned, staying active, 50 to 60% chance of scattered areas of rain and storms. Meanwhile, Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, rain chance low, a little bit higher on Monday. will be up to about a 30% chance. We swing back through Guyana, rain chance staying low, 30% chance. Suriname mainly dry, a 20% chance in Suriname. Scattered areas of rain and storms back through Cuba. Some of these heavy favoring central and eastern sections the next few days. Costa Rica, Panama, been watching your comments, staying active, 60 to 70% chance in Nicaragua, and a 60 to 70% chance in Honduras. Again, flooding will be a potential in some spots in Honduras. Same thing, Guatemala and El Salvador, rain chance staying very high, an 80% chance over the next few days. Mexico City by Monday, the rain chance even higher, up to a 70% chance in scattered areas of rain around Merida, Campeche, Cozumel, and Cancun. 40 to 50% chance northern Colombia and the rain chance building some in northern Venezuela by Monday up to a 70% chance. And monitoring Bermuda, as I was talking about earlier, with that front moving by, that rain chance will only be increasing in Bermuda. So strong tropical wave near Africa, slow development possible out of that, watching the dry air, monitoring that long-term track for you. I'll give you the heads up if this gets close to us in the Caribbean. I'll give us uh, plenty of uh, a heads up on uh, what could uh, happen. Hopefully it makes a, a curve. And that new tropical wave moving into a Dominica right now and moving into the Caribbean. We'll be tracking that throughout the week. The next name on the list, the next name storm is Gabrielle. So thank you for being with me and I hope you have a really good day ahead.